Less than 48 hours away from a big yearly tradition here in the Commonwealth. Deer firearm season kicks off. Last year was the highest deer harvest in the last 15 years, and the Game Commission expects one similar as more hunters will likely be out. Like many things, this year will be different, and it's not just because of COVID-19. Channel 11's Gordon Lesh walks us through the changes hunters and non-hunters need to know about. The coronavirus led to more people picking up outdoor activities this year. The state's Fish and Boat Commission reports there were 156,000 more anglers this year, and the number of hunters is on the rise. General hunting licenses, I believe, are up around 7%. Some of the specialty licenses are, are even up a little higher than that. But uh, a lot of people, are, I think, are taking advantage of the fact that uh, uh, they have more time uh, than what they've had in the past. As more people take to the woods, there are big changes statewide and locally. The first being, if you're stopped for a license and safety check, wardens will be standing back. Don't be offended if an officer stands an, an extra few feet away this year. It's just, again, it's just social distancing. It's just a precaution. Uh, he will reach, he or she will reach out to, to ask you for your license, and you can certainly hand it to them. Another big statewide change impacting all is there's one Sunday hunting day. That's November 29th. So if you're a non-hunter heading out for that Sunday hike, be alert. The southwestern Pennsylvania region will see two other changes this year. The first being is if you hunt in this blue area, consisting of Allegheny, Armstrong, and Indiana, along with parts of Westmoreland, Butler, and Fayette, both bucks and does can be hunted during the entire 14-day season. There is a concurrent season this year, uh, which means that uh, antlerless deer can be harvested from the first day of deer season through the last day of deer season. Snickle says the change is to help stop the spread of chronic wasting disease, a deadly brain disease that's been found in more deer in most of the state. It's now appeared and spread in Indiana and Westmoreland counties. Basically all of northern Indiana County and a small section of Armstrong County. Uh, DMA2 uh, here in which covers part of Westmoreland County has been extended over to Route 217 basically goes from Route 30 near Latrobe up to Derry. The Game Commission reminds hunters if you hunt in these areas, don't move to high risk parts and consider getting your game tested. And remember to wear your harness in a tree stand. Gordon Lesh, Channel 11 News.